Hey, what is up, guys? Welcome back. Um, I have a quite a lot to say in this video. I think there's a lot of things going on right now um, in terms of my channel and also with my life as well. And I think the two are definitely really, really connected. If you guys don't know what this is, this is a channel update video. I usually make these every single week, usually on a Monday. It's not a Monday today, but it is the beginning of a new month. So I decided to make my channel update video today. Alright, so disclaimer, this is going to be long. Actually, if you clicked into this video, you probably already looked at the length of this video. It's probably going to be pretty long. Um, I have quite a few things to say. So, I'm going to start talk, start by talking a little bit about my, my channel first. Um, I think I'm taking a little bit of a break. Well, well I'm probably going to start making um, you know actual content again tomorrow. Um, but I just wanted to take a little bit of a break to, to uh, just... Even from even from from playing, really, I I feel a little bit burned out to be honest. Um, I think the last month with Monster Super League was a, was pretty rough, and also I I started playing like three games at the same time. It was definitely um, definitely the, the the things I had to do kind of kind of increased. Um, the thing I wanted to talk to you guys about was um, for for lineage and for um, Fire Emblem Heroes. I, I feel like the majority of my audience that are on this channel are are here to watch uh, Monster Super League. Obviously, there are you know there's there's a lot of a lot of people, and um, some of you guys are, are here to from from me playing um, Lineage Red Knights and and um, Fire Emblem Heroes. But I, I feel like the it's it doesn't actually have to do with the game. Well, actually, it doesn't have to do with me or me with the, my relationship with the game. But it ha it kind of has to do with the design of the game. I feel like the the games um, lineage and um, and Fire Emblem don't really work all that well in me making like daily videos about. Um, I feel like when I'm when I'm playing like when I'm playing Lineage or when I'm playing Fire Emblem Heroes, uh, a lot of times I'm just doing like I'm logging on daily to do daily stuff and then I I log on I log off. Um, that's what I do for for Lineage and then for Fire Emblem Heroes I'm like logging in, getting the orbs. The orbs are the premium currency in in the game. If you guys um, don't know about it, um, and then you use that those premium currencies to do summonings. You know, all these, all these mobile games are pretty much the same. It's this almost all, always the same format. Um, but then it, the the difference is, um, you know, if if it's a game designed for you to just pick up and play for a few minutes a day, or if it's a game like Monster Super League where it's designed for you to keep your device on 24/7 um, and farm like mad. Um, <laughs> So I think the reason why why it's it feels a little bit harder to to keep making daily content for for those games is because there's really not all that much content. Um, I feel like in Monster Super League there's a lot of content because there's a lot of monsters and they're always constantly adding new monsters and it's very very easy for me to raise a new monster to its maximum potential. Um, so I can raise that monster up and then I can start um, using it for different purposes and then I can I can show it off to you guys um, you know and then and then in that way it, it doesn't really like my, my daily videos from Monster Super League are always kind of a little bit different I think for the past month it's, it felt like I was doing the same exact things but because I was trying so damn hard to get that Dark Mona and I, I um, I really just didn't care about anything else I was I was just going going all the way um, but then now that that's over, I think I can go back. Um, I can I, I can regain a little bit of my sanity and go back to playing the game the the way that it's uh, the w way that I I enjoy playing. I think I, I feel like I I was forcing myself to to farm super hard um, in Monster Super League for the past month, and it's it it, it really has kind of burned me out. So I, I think I I um, probably gonna chill for a bit and then rethink. Um, a, a lot of the things I was going to do. Also, I, you know, I've been playing three games at the same time um, and and making content for them. So, I think the the thing I wanted to say is um, I'm going to I'm going to probably um, focus a little bit more, like bring a little bit more of my focus back to back to making content for Monster Super League. 
but that doesn't mean that I'm going going to quit um, lineage or I'm going to or or quit uh, Fire Emblem Heroes. I'm I'm definitely gonna keep playing, but I guess it's just hard for me to keep making daily videos because it's it's uh, there's not all that much for me to do. Um, and I feel like the majority of my audience here is is here to to watch me play Monster Street League. But I mean, this is just the majority. It's not it's not everyone. I know I know some of you guys are are here for for the other games. Um, so so the next topic I want to talk about was actually just uh, I I've been thinking of starting another game as well. Like I. <laughs> I'm I'm starting more and more games. It's pretty crazy, but maybe in the future I'll just, you know, I'll just uh, some, some for some of these like side games that aren't um, my main game. Maybe I'll just make some some content sometimes for them, and then um, you know I'll keep keep making like daily series for for Monster Super League, and um, and then occasionally when I you know if I for Fire Emblem Heroes if I collect enough orbs I can make some summoning videos. Um, when there's a new update, I can you know review the new units and and talk a little bit more about about that. Um, and kind of the same thing with uh, with lineage as well. Like when I when I have some some cool things, like when I raise another unit to the next next rank um, and collect enough resources from doing all the daily things, then I can I can show that. And then you know maybe save some boxes so I can open them all at the same time for like a summoning video for that as well. Um, the the game I want to also like make some content on is um, is is actually Hearthstone. I know probably a lot of you guys heard of the game. Um, probably I think some of you probably play it as well. It's definitely one of the biggest games out there, which actually makes me a little bit scared to to like make videos for because I feel like like usually when you make um, make uh, games on or videos on games that are are already like established or something like there's a lot of established established people um, making content on people are a lot more critical so if you if you do anything then they will like you know flame you and dislike the shit out of you although I don't really care that much I feel like uh, even if I get like you know a million dislikes just as long as I get that that one like and that one extra subscriber it's definitely worth it um, but I, you know, it kind of makes me s s sound like I'm 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 the, I'm a I'm a sellout that way. Like you know, I I'll, I'll whore myself, dirty myself, which in, which, every way possible, for more subs and views. Um, but I think every every YouTuber should be like that. If you're if you're a, an inspiring YouTuber and you're you wanna you wanna, you're and you're serious. Then you, you should definitely uh, that should definitely be your philosophy. But the reason why I want to make Hearthstone content is because I, I started playing the game again. Um, I originally started playing when the game first came out, and then I quit like after a month because I I was like really fed up with the the way how because um, there were a lot of like hard hardcore pay to win players um, during that time. Like they. They spent a ton, like, because it was the, during the first month, so, like, I would be playing just some casual games, and then they would have, like, random legendaries, and then, you know, when you're about to win, they just they just throw out a Deathwing or some shit like that, and then you just instantly lose or some shit. And it's... Um, you guys probably, some of you have no idea what I'm talking about, because you don't play the game. Um, but basically... You know, it's it's like that for any 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 games. Um, if if you if you play against people that are like that that have paid a shit ton of money, and then you you only have the the the, the stuff that's available to you, like the the starter stuff that's available to you, it, it uh you know it feels pretty bad. But then then um, Hearthstone's a game that's a lot about strategy as well, so it, it doesn't even matter sometimes. Like as long as you have the basics of of um. A lot of the, the the decks that you you want to make, then you can definitely make that make them. You don't need to, um, you know, have every single legendary in the game. Um, yeah, but the reason why I got back to to playing was because of a news that I heard. 
it wasn't about Hearthstone, it was actually about WoW. And it was about the WoW tokens, how you, um, the, the WoW tokens are basically like a, a legal way for WoW players to buy, buy gold. And, um, the, the tokens are the, these things that you can sell, you can buy with real money, and then you can sell, um, on WoW with, uh, in, in, to, to exchange for, like, in-game currency, basically. So it's like a legal way to, to have, for players to actually buy, buy gold, um, from players in the game, you know, through Blizzard. And the, the cool thing is the, these tokens, which actually act as game time for the people that actually want to buy them, um, they can now be redeemed and used for any sort of Blizzard game. So you can use them for Hearthstone, you can use them for um, to buy Overwatch skins and stuff like that. And the 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 reason I it uh, um, Hearthstone caught my attention was because I was talking to my brother about it because he he's an avid Hearthstone player. He's always playing. Um, and yeah, he's always wanted me to to play the game. Like he's been trying to get me to play the game for the longest time, and I, I never never uh, <laughs> I never played. And uh, I was just talking to him about it. I was I was like I, I found out this news. I was like, hey, you should uh, start up your WoW account, and um, you know if you're bored as hell, you can you can play WoW and farm gold and sell sell your gold for tokens, and then use your tokens to buy Hearthstone packs. You know, it's a win-win situation. Um, and and yeah, and he he was like, oh, you should you should you should, actually you should start Hearthstone, and then you can um, you know you can use your WoW account and farm gold, and then you can go hardcore pay to win on Hearthstone. And then he he's like, don't you make a you know make make a video videos about mobile games? You know, Hearthstone's technically a mobile game, although you can play on the PC. It is it is supposed to be a mobile game. Um, yeah, he, he basically just recommended I, I, I try it. Um, and I, I, I'm kind of back playing the game, like I, I play for fun sometimes. And I think it's definitely something I can do on the side as well. You know, whenever whenever I I have like packs and stuff, I can open. Um, people love watching those videos, like summoning videos, um, you know, box opening, pack opening. People love those videos. It's just, I mean, you know, you guys, you guys watching, definitely guys, you definitely. Definitely, um, a lot of you guys do enjoy it because I always get get these comments whenever I make the these summoning videos. Like I get a lot more comments when I'm making um, summoning videos and stuff. But I I think that's pretty much it. I I think I rambled on a little bit too much um, about about um, about my my channel. The the next thing is I want to talk a little bit about my my plans um, in life. In, in real life, um, so my my plan before, um, if you guys know from my last video, I I told you guys that I was uh, I think I've said this many times before in channel updates that I'm I was waiting for my application um, to UC Irvine and waiting to see if I get accepted. And um, last video, I I basically said that they I, I got news that they rejected me and I I didn't get in. Um, but well, so that kind of like changes changes my plans a little bit. Um, I'm basically going back to my original plan. the The whole thing about going to Irvine was super super like just last minute. It was literally the the like extremely last minute. Like the, the deadline was December, and then um, I started like in in um, yeah, I basically started in September. Like I, I spent um, a month studying for for GRE, and then I I took the test. I I scored decently. Like I, it was like just slightly above average. Um, I think I'm. That could possibly be why. Like I I, I don't know. Um, but then again, my my school grades weren't like weren't like super super good. But they were they were they were. Um, they they were like satis pretty satisfactory, but then I I um, you know I, basically I I didn't plan anything before, so I basically wrote my study plan, um, did the like you know did the GRE, did the TOEFL, and and applied, just like all all within uh, all within all within three months. Yeah, they had the that the deadline was like December first or something. I can't I couldn't remember. Um, 
Yeah, so basically three months. Like, I did that all within three months. So it was actually really, really last minute. Um, my original plan was after, like, basically after graduating, I was actually preparing to leave Taiwan. And, um, yeah, it was, it was, uh, it was from, it was, it was actually just, just really random. Like, it was, like, from this, uh, this article about the, <laughs> How UC Irvine had like this esports arena, and then um, how they had a had a program um, in visual studies, which actually is a PhD program, and they they offered uh, like scholarships, so you can basically go in the first year for free, and then if you um, become a teaching assistant, you can basically it just basically pays for all your your whole tuition and stuff. So I thought it was a it was a pretty pretty um pretty cool idea and then i um and then um yeah it was a, it was just a lot of discussions with me me and my dad you know talking about talking about a lot of uh a lot of what to you know what 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 i could possibly do um because I, I i've studied i've studied uh mass communication in in university and I'm also like I've also had some experience, um, you know, making YouTube videos and also um, doing doing streaming. Although I haven't streamed in the longest time, like I haven't streamed in forever. Um, but I, I used to stream a lot, like on Twitch. Um, and yeah, it was it was going to be, um, you know, you know how there's classes right now in in schools like for for film or for media or for for, for stuff like that um, what what I was trying to do was actually just like start a new study um, you know based on new media which is like you know YouTube and Twitch and stuff and mostly it has to do with gaming like cuz because um, I, I guess that's what I'm, what I'm interested in and I think it's definitely a huge huge thing because if you think about it um, the the long the largest like streaming site is is Twitch and there's a lot of lot of uh, like and it's about mostly about games you know so it's actually like this this new it's a, it's like a, it's like a trend that's that's happening right now it's definitely something that's going to continue on towards the future because as, as I think as um, as time progresses less and less people are going to be watching like TV and then more and more people are going to be watching stuff on YouTube, watching stuff on Twitch. Um, I think it's just how the way things are headed. I mean, you guys can probably, you know, agree with me on this if you're, you know, constantly watching YouTube videos. Um, but yeah, it was basically going to be stu studying about um, new media and stuff. And I... Yeah, I was I was uh I was actually pretty confident. I thought I would I would I would get in for sure. Like I th I was actually really really confident that I would get in for sure. Um But yeah, sometimes sometimes you should uh I I guess I guess I guess for me um I I kind of just need to go back to my original plan, which is to go back to Canada. I've always planned to go back to Canada. Um I've, like it's it was always been it has always been a plan since I started studying um, you know for for college in Taiwan it was or, or always the original plan was to eventually go back to Canada once I graduate um, and yeah and then the, the time has basically come for that so I will be leaving um, in a few months I'll be leaving Taiwan in a few months and I will basically permanently be living in Canada um, I guess the the only thing that kind of uh, that kind of um, kind of tilted me <laughs> is that I've I've uh, for the past few months or so I've basically haven't been doing anything and just been waiting here. Um, obviously, I've been doing YouTube as well, but then I I. Um, I think it's definitely not good that I'm I'm living here like right now as a neat. Um, definitely do want to want to um, you know go find a job you know start my life and stuff like that. And I think the plan is basically I'm gonna move in a few months. I'll go and I'll find a job. Um, doesn't really matter what job I find. I need to 
at the very very least you know be able to support myself first and then I can I can always look for something else after that um, and you know kind of do YouTube on the side as well I I don't have any doubts that I'll make it eventually one day as a YouTuber, um, but it's it's gonna take a a, a while before uh, before I can turn this into into an actual you know career or anything like that. It's gonna be pretty hard. Like you know, there's a lot of competition and stuff. Um, but I, I I don't think I think as long as I as long as I keep pushing it, as long as I keep trying, then um, eventually. Um, I'll, I'll make it. Um, so yeah, that's 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 pretty much it. That was my that was what I what I originally planned to do. So I'm going to go back to Plan A now um, and and just do that. But that's going to be happening, um, I guess, in a few months. Going to start preparing and going to start um, you know look for look for places, look for maybe look for a job once I get there. But um, Maybe if if possible, I can I can start looking for a job here as well. Like you know, while I'm here online, um, but it's gonna be a little bit hard harder to do that with me not being there in person. And yeah, that's pretty much it. That's that's all I all I all I really had to say. Um, so you guys should be seeing some 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 more content very very soon. Um, another thing is like a just like a secret secret news um, I, I didn't really plan to make this public but I guess a lot of not a lot of people do like actually watch these channel update videos like if I ma made a video announcing something um, then people would go go crazy but then um, there's been talk about me starting another YouTube channel um, it's going to I will say it's going to be a related to anime and manga stuff um, but not exactly if you want details go look in, on my discord server because I, I don't want to uh, it I, I don't know why am I being so secretive no I need I need to be secretive all right nobody nobody can know it's actually me um, but yeah, that's that's pretty much it. That that's that's all there is to it. That's all I all I gotta say. Um, thank you guys so much for watching, and thank you guys for for all your support. Um, thank you guys for sticking with me, um, even though I, I I slack off like crazy. And I'll I'll see you guys. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.